What is up everybody? This is Dennis, Illinois Outdoorsman, and today I'm going to go over something I kind of shared on my Facebook page about kid making fishing lures over kind of west central Illinois, and I ordered a couple of them from them, kind of go over what they're like compared to what you're buying in the store, Booyah, or Chatterman, or Z-Man, Chatterbaits, stuff like that, jigs. I got something in my eye, but go over that and some of the other stuff I've got going on been a little cold it was nice yesterday and i probably should have went fishing but i couldn't because my wife is actually in colorado right now going checking out rocky mountain national park stuff like that she's out there with a couple friends and some family so i've got the little one and he wasn't about to go in the kayak with me so i got these i ordered them today's what saturday so thursday i ordered them got a tracking number by friday they were supposed to be delivered monday and ended up getting delivered today so props to the post office for getting it here quick so i can do a video on it and not wait till next week to do a video when i'm off of work but we'll go ahead and dive on into it i got some other stuff laying here on the table that i didn't do a video on just because there's already 12 million other videos out there on it so i'll just show you what i made and we'll throw it back in the kayak and then we'll get on with fishing lures and check these things out they look pretty sweet so far but i'm gonna go ahead and move the camera on over here and we'll check it out all right, don't mind my big vice right here. It's right in the middle of the way. I know I need to move it, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So we'll start off with, everybody knows what this is. That is really close. Let's move this. Everybody knows what this is, kayak cart. Everybody watched and saw that I put a transducer through the scupper plug and I didn't want to drag that transducer across the ground because in the ascent, it's not really protected. It sticks out there a little bit. Went ahead and made a cart. Big inflatable wheels from Harbor Freight. So we're going to call this the Harbor Freight Menard Special. I think I've got 25 bucks wrapped up in it altogether. Way cheaper than the cart you get from Bass Pro or anything you can find online. And you know it's going to hold up because you made it. We'll throw that back over with the kayak and we'll get to looking at some of these lures here. Let me get you moved up here. Get my coffee cup out of the way. So, got it in this bag. I'm not going to... I don't think he's gonna care, but I'm not gonna put his address or anything. Well, I guess I just did, but his address and stuff. He's over in Petersburg. Let me bump this up just a little bit. He's out over in Petersburg, which is where he's based out of. And I had seen him on the Channel 17 News, WAND here down in Decatur. And I kind of reached out to him just to see what he was about and got some stuff, went ahead and ordered some stuff. And I'm telling you what, for what I got, the deal I got on it was ridiculous. It's, what I got here was probably close to 70 bucks for the stuff. And then with shipping, I paid $31. That's with shipping, which is awesome, which I can't complain about that, especially for what I got, what I'm gonna use. I know I'm gonna destroy it. It's gonna get beat up. I'm gonna put it to the test, but we'll find out how it holds up. If it holds up decent, I'll be happy. But for what I paid for them, you can't beat it. But these are just my boxes, the way I've got them labeled. We got some jigs that we ordered. Minus the swim bait, we got some chatter baits and a couple top water baits. And if you guys know, I, when I say top water baits, you know it's gonna be a frog. That's always what I do. Top water, doesn't matter. I won't hardly throw a buzz bait, but I will throw a frog all day long. But get in here. We got the receipt here, which we've got the prices on it for everything I paid. So if you wanna pause that and look at it that's what i got or get hit up his website i think it's on the bottom of this page i'll link his website down below as well it's on one of these pages but it's a uh, funkybaits.com kid out of petersburg and these lures are seem really good quality i kind of talked to him about what kind of hooks and stuff they were and these are all mustad hooks which as all of us know mustad is an awesome brand of hooks get rid of that don't need that so, what I ended up getting was, let me sort this out here. I got two chatterbaits, two jigs, and three frogs. So, I kind of got, we'll do the frogs last. We'll go that way. Chatterbaits, I'm just now kind of starting to get into them. But, I figured, you know what, why not? For what I paid for them, I think I paid, let's see here, $3.60 a piece for a chatterbait. You go to Walmart and get a Z-Man, it's $6.00. So we got a white half ounce chatterbait here. If you look at that, I mean, it's 
got a little bit of glitter in the skirt. It is an awesome color. Got that nice shiny Mustad Ultra Point hook on it. Here's my camera, wrong side. That nice hook in it. This one is a 3 8 ounce. And the color on this one is just white. And it's got a little bit of glitter in the skirt too. So you get a little bit of shimmer in it. I'm going to keep them out of the package. I'm going to put them in the boxes anyway. The other chatterbait. On this first one, it's got a silver blade on it. So you can get different blade colors too with this kid. This guy, he's got... He's venturing out and he's doing seems to be doing pretty good from what i've seen on his website and his facebook and everything else but this one i got is a chartreuse in white and it also has the glitter in the skirt but the difference with this one this one is also a 3 8 ounce yeah both these were 3 8 ounces this one i got with a brass blade gold blade in it and that is super shiny because you could obviously tell i'm filming on my phone so Brass blade and the silver blade. Both look awesome. They both look well built. The hooks are super sharp. The skirts aren't real stiff. They're nice and flowy. And there's an extra length. So if you want to trim it out, you can trim it out. But here's his website and everything else on the back of one of the cards that came with those. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, his website. Get a hold of him. Check him out. See what you guys think. And on his jigs and stuff, he got some pretty unique names for the jigs. So we're going to start off with this one, which I think is probably the coolest color combination I've seen in a while on a jig. This color is called Clayton Craw, and it is kind of a green pumpkin with red in it. It's got the red, stra red strands in it, and that green pumpkin's got the red and the green glitter in it on top of it. So that should be really good around here, especially... If Flip rock banks and dock posts. And the other one I kind of got, it's not advertised as a swim jig, but I'm going to use it as a swim jig, and that's why I got this color. This first one here, this Clayton Crawl one, though, is a flipping jig. It's a half ounce. This one is also a flipping jig. It's a 3 8 ounce, but I'm going to use it as a swim jig just because of the color. And the color on this one is called Nate's Gill, and obviously... You could tell why it's kind of got that bluegill color with the dark on the top and then you get into that orangish yellowish belly on them put you, put you this little swim swim bait on the back of that and you got yourself a pretty sweet swim jig and that's exactly what i'm going to use it for that's why i got that color so i got two jigs two chatter baits and three frogs and these frogs are some pretty bold colors but the way i've always learned topwater frog fishing is they're looking at it but they're not looking at it especially if you're throwing it through weeds you want to be able to see the frog you want to be able to see that if fish swipes at it and he misses it and it pops back up you can see the frog so i don't through grass mats stuff like that i'll throw green but it's really hard to see especially obviously a green mat with a green frog it gets hard to see so that's why i throw bright colors usually they're white or black try and keep it pretty simple but I don't know why these colors always, these kind of stood out. And this one will not come out of the bag because it is hooked through the bag. It's awesome, sharp hook. So what we got here is we got three frogs. And as you could tell, they are super bright. This one is kind of a blue with an orange. It's got just a hint of green on the side with a white belly. And these are mustad hooks as well and they don't have the super long legs where you got to trim them down otherwise you have an eight inch leg on the back of the frog this one i got is kind of like a fire tiger pattern real bright really really bright a little bit of yellow on it gonna be awesome and then obviously i got a green frog like everybody gets green got a little bit of black and white striped in the legs it's awesome now with these frogs they're super cheap but i'm going to show you what I normally throw, we'll use the green one just because this frog is green. This is what I normally throw. This is a, I think this is the Bass Pro Shop brand Kermy frog. Just, you see how long those legs are, and then you look at this. Obviously the body size is a little bit smaller, but I mean, look at the difference in those legs. You gotta trim these legs down, otherwise you get fish back here short strike and you end up putting trailer hooks on everything and you miss a bunch of fish because of it. This one, these frogs that I got here are more this size, which in comparison, 
they're this is a little narrow this is wide like the big frog but it's a shorter profile which i think once summer really hits and everybody's throwing a topwater frog trying to get that morning bite that having something that's switched up a little bit got a wider short fat profile it's going to produce a lot better but that's what i got i'm kind of i'm super excited to get these out and send him pictures of catching fish on his lures and help promote him and for what for what i got normally for a frog like that like this kermy frog is six seven dollars easy i paid 350 a piece for them frogs um jigs were 375 360 375 depending on the weight obviously the half ounce one 375 the three eighths is three dollars and sixty cents you guys cannot beat that price on jigs and then for the chatter baits three dollars and sixty cents i'm not going to complain about three dollars and sixty cents for a chatter bait and it beats the heck out of driving to walmart and dealing with all the people in walmart just to find, oh, they only got a black one or a white one, and it's this way. They don't have the weight I want. I can order what I want and have it in two to three days. That's perfect. If I know I'm going to go on a trip, I'm going to throw chatterbaits or frogs or anything else. I know, hey, I can order from him, have it in a couple of days, order it right before my trip, and go. And these frogs are going to go to Florida, and to be honest, I hope I destroy them in Florida. It almost sounds like it got a rattle in it, but it's just a weight smacking on the hook. But like I said, all this stuff's must add hooks, super sharp hooks and hope to get to use them. Like I said, I didn't get to go out yesterday, so hopefully make up for it next weekend, go out or Wednesday or something, see what the weather's doing. I know it's supposed to, we're supposed to get some snow tomorrow, so it might shoot that one in the foot. But until next time, guys, tight lines, I'll see you out there.